G-Day, people! This is Sharpino here, welcome you guys to episode number 9 of the Pokemon Insurgents Randomizer Nuzlocke. If you're enjoying the series so far, you're excited for this episode, and a proud member of the Sharp Squad, and a shady person like I am, make sure you hit the like button down below for us because, as always, your support is greatly appreciated. In the last episode, you guys, we made our way from Suntouch City to Mechi Town on the way to Vipic City for our second gym badge. Now, unfortunately, we did have another death along the way that was our beloved Jailus the Weaver. But, from the pride comes the fall, instead of losing Jailus, we got ourselves an Aegis Slash. Not just any Aegis Slash, an Adamant Aegis Slash. So, I apologize to Jailus Shadowborn, my solving partner, for what's happened, but you know what? It's an Aegis Slash. What more can I say? So let's go ahead and have a look at our Pokemon over here. Let me just cut, cut this out. Actually, hold on. Thank you. That makes it right there. We go. Nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and have a look at our team of what we're going to be using for this episode. I've got everyone trying to level 30 just to save the grinding montage and all that for afterwards. But like I said, you can't cheat with this. If a Pokemon dies, it can't heal. So, you know, there's no way for me to cheat heal behind you guys' back. So we got ourselves Sharpina the High Dragon. We got Lumiere the Chandelure, Petri the Archeox, Megahorn the Dewot, Yugi the Aegis Slash, and Cleaver the Delta Scyther. So, let us continue this episode, let us continue the series, should I say. Continue the episode, we just started. Alright, so, we're going to make our way down now. We're going to get a few encounters along the way. I know there's another route as we head south. And there's also a hidden area. Actually, hold on. Speaking of, last episode we tried to go into the hidden grotto. It was an item. Now, it is a hidden grotto in itself, so let us see if this time around it can actually be a Pokemon. Because if it could be a Pokemon, we could actually count it, catch it. God damn it, it's another freaking item. Jesus Christ. Well, I'll keep trying for a Pokemon and I'll definitely be back here the next day or whatever because every day it resets. It could be a Pokemon or it could be an item. But technically for that hidden grotto we didn't get our encounter. So we'll just wait for that hidden encounter to appear before us. So question of the day is what is a fond childhood memory that you have with Pokemon? Now for me it would probably be playing Pokemon Stadium with all my friends and everything else, playing all the mini games from like the very first you know, Pokemon's game to ever appear on 64, which was amazing. Besides Snap, I'm talking about Pokemon Stadium. So that was definitely one of my favourite childhood memories. Now, we are on a new route here. Let's see what kind of encounter we can get this time around. We've got so many powerful encounters. I can only speculate what we could have. But we'll go ahead and we'll put Cleaver out front, because Cleaver has False Swipe and has one of the worst abilities ever, Hustle. So, let's go through here. Go through, bypass the trainer. Oh look, there's an old lady. Don't take this personally, it was the spirits that called upon me to defeat you. Okay, nutbag. Alright, three Pokemon starts up with the Pornia. Well, that's not bad because we've got low sweeps, let's go for a low sweep. Luckily we didn't miss, that's got a double weakness on the Pornia, down it goes. Thank you, come again. Next Pokemon is a Blastoise. Now, who would have fun with a Blastoise? I guess we can leave Cleaver in against a Blastoise. Let's have a look at this Blastoise here. Level 28. So we're actually just on par, or just a bit higher than the trainer's Pokemon. So, I guess to show you just what we're dealing with here. So we we'll go for a low sweep. That does not even half to this Blastoise. The Blastoise goes for Water Pulse. Let's see how much damage it does. Eh, it does a little bit. Ah, but it gets to protect. Bitch. So leave a comment down below and tell me what you guys have any fond childhood memories. Because we are in the 20th anniversary of Pokemon. So it would be good just to get a recollection of all our fondest memories with Pokemon when we first had our first encounters. And we're confused. I don't like that at all. So we're going to try once. Once. And we get through. Fantastic. Blastoise is gunk, gunk, gunky. And Cleaver reaches level 31. Hot damn. And the Cresselia is next. So, let's go ahead and swap out into Sharpino, because Sharpino, the High Dragon, is definitely going to have more fun against this Cresselia than Delta Scyther. Now, if he was normal Scyther, different story, but this is Delta, so he won't appreciate the matchup. 
But we're gonna go for a crunch that's gonna do over half damage to Cresselia. And he's gonna go for she's gonna go for a safeguard. What for? I don't have Thunder Wave. Chump can't come in Thunder Wave. What's wrong with you, Cresselia? What the hell is wrong with you? Alright, so we defeated that Cresselia, we get some experience, and we defeat the old nutbag. Fantastic! Fantastic. Alright, so let us continue south. Uh, let me just check. Um, uh, okay, balls. We've got 13 great balls, poke balls. Okay, we should be good. We'll go ahead and use a super potion on Cleaver because we could be coming up against a possible encounter. So let's go ahead, let's go surfing. So I know the house with Delta, which would normally be a Delta Rolls, would be up here somewhere. Right about there. Our encounter for this round is going to be A! Speak of the Devil into Delta Rolls! What up? Oh my goodness, people. Just as I was explaining the house with Delta Rolls, we have a Delta Rolls. What are the odds, people? What are the odds? Oh my goodness. Oh my damn. Oh my goodness. So we're going to go for a false swipe in this Rolt and bring it down to its bare minimum. But now, it's a Delta Rolt! Oh my god. Now the only problem is, I don't know what kind of nature it would have. Obviously its nature will depend on how I wish to raise this Rolt. Now if it has obviously an attack hindering nature, I'll probably try to have it as... We caught it the first ball though! Awesome! Alright, so we've got ourselves a Delta Rolts here. We're getting those Delta Species right here. The Feeling Pokemon. It is a Delta Species Pokemon, so it is a different type than usual. It has large um, amount of mental power. As would be Rolt. Now, oh, what would be a generic name for a Gardevoir slash Glade? Alright, I really want this to be a Glade, because a Glade would be amazing. So, I'm just trying to think Ice. I'm gonna call it Frost Blade. Frost Blade. Oh, okay, no spaces. Yes, yes. Frost Blade. So when we go to the Pokemon Center in Vivic City, we'll go ahead and see just what Pokemon we have found. Now this is the well, it's the static encounter of Delta Rolts. <laughs> like I said, it's the ironic thing is we've found a Delta Rolts and all that. But let's go ahead and see what we're going to find, what the static Delta Rolls is going to be. I laugh if it's another Delta Rolls. It's going to be a... God damn it, it's... Oh my gosh. Ah, it's Dupe's Claws. It's Dupe's Claws. So really, I don't want to have another Whimsicott, but... I would rather just kill this Whimsicott. Well, that's a real darn shame that the gift Pokemon, or the static encounter, was another, that's another Wimbers card. And, really, I didn't really want to have another static encounter, so, you know what, I'm okay with it, I'm cool, I'm, I'm okay, I guess, you know, but, it's a darn shame, it's a real darn shame, if you do ask, if I do say so myself, it is a damn darn shame. So we'll go ahead and get Sharpina out front, we'll start getting everyone working up to level 35, because I do know that these Pokemon, there's a super potion there. I just barely saw that just around the. Sharpino loves to travel to Sharpino. Sharpino section. What? <laughs> Alright, so let's continue traveling down. I think Vivic City should be just around the corner from here, if I'm not mistaken. But I really want to check out that Delta Rolls. Oh, also, speaking of, I hatched the uh, Marrow Egg. It's a Delta Scyther! All these Deltas! Good lord! And that is an ice fighting Delta Scyther. Oh, wait. I just tried to fight it. No. Oh, good God. I really thought... Was I? Okay, I was trying to run, but I accidentally hit Dragon Breath. But we're going to kill the Delta Scyther, so that is... Okay, I guess. Whew, luckily it didn't kill us, because that is ice fighting. And let me tell you, that is never a good matchup for a high Dragon on any level. Because ice and fighting, um, Dragon Dark say no. So we're going to be watching this Lapras vibrate in my backpack. Let's go ahead and see. I know there's a hidden item over here on the left somewhere. Oh, there it is. A super potion right there. Is there going to be another Delta Pokemon? Hey, it's a Bullaby. Love me some Dark types. Unfortunately, we lost Dark type. You know, you'd think I would try to keep the Dark Weavile over Egg Slash, but 
It's an Ape Slash, you know, you're never gonna have an Ape Slash and an LP here, especially freshly caught right off the bat. So, unfortunately we just had to, you know, sacrifice that. We got another encounter, and it's going to be a Lapras. Speaking of things to Lapras, and we're gonna run because, again, dragons don't like ice types. So let's go ahead down south here, and here we are, we're in Vipic City. I might go ahead and invest those trainers off screen or anything. We have a dump for gold, the garbage, and the red. The stench carries last month, it was so bad that we had to carry gas masks. Well, speaking of. Oh, well, this is a super, this is a super repo, I believe. We can actually get an encounter for, um, for Magic Town. Oh, Vipic City, sorry. So, I say we'll go ahead and heal up, get our, um, get our Pokemon healed up, and we'll try to get an encounter for Manchi City because I wouldn't say no some extra Pokemon, no siree. But actually, while we're here, we can actually go ahead and see what nature uh, that Delta Rocks is. Now, the Marrow that I hatched, it was a brave nature, which is terrific, and it has huge power. So that uh, Marrow is definitely going to be a possible use uh, for this game here, so that's brave. It has Lightning Rod with a mild nature. That is going to be a Gardevoir right there, Frostblade. That is going to be a Gardevoir nature right there. The only problem is its defense is absolutely garbage. That's the only problem I can see with it. But, e double team, nuzzle, shockwave, and ice shard. So, it's still a terrific Pokemon. Don't get me wrong. A Delta Rot is amazing. Unfortunately, it's just going to have a very, very hard time with physical moves. So, we'll hear that Pokemon. Let's go ahead and put Delta Scyther, our Cleaver, the Delta Scyther, back out front. And let's see what kind of Pokemon we can counter in the big C. So, we're going to go for a little Surfy Surf. Can we go for a Surfy Surf? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, sirree. What are we going to find? What are we going to find? Uh, come on now. Or we can just go fishing. Let's go fishing. I think fishing might be better. Fish, 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 fish. Not even a nipple. Wow. Okay then. Come on now. Not even a nipple. Okay, what I'll do is we'll go in some houses. I think we can trigger the uh, the TV thing here. What you can do is you can talk to a TV, any TV in here, and it triggers a Rotom encounter. So what I'll do is instead of going for the water encounter, I might actually go ahead and go for the TV encounter. So the TV encounter is just a it's just another option. Oh, it's holding an item. It found a bug gem. Ooh. Love me the bug types, even though we've got a Kingsguard. Sorry, all the bug lovers. Hey, if you can show me a varied Pokedex, I'll give you a good rod. How does that sound? Show me a Pokedex with 25 Pokemon Core. That's actually not bad. Well, we've got an old rod, so I mean, all the Pokemon are going to be like garbage. So, if we catch 25 more Pokemon, we can come back here and we can get ourselves a, uh, a good rod. Just so we can get a higher level Pokemon. Yeah, we're not having luck with this water, so I'm going to keep going around these houses and trying to find... TV to talk to because TV would just mean we can definitely collect eight badges and get a free trip to the Pokemon League. That's not the case here. Or well, you still need all the badges. There's the actual problem of getting there. People say the Elite Four have never been beaten, but I think it's just because they've never been challenged. Interesting concept. Fire types. I love fire types. My second favorite type. Okay, well the bombs know. Calm down. Now. All right. Well, tell you what. If you give me twenty five hundred dollars, I'll give you an egg. What do you say? Oh, it's another egg. Uh, okay, uh, we've got a weird, looks like the guy from before. Scrippy, because no, okay. Um, now I can't remember what egg this is, I'm pretty sure it's the Bonsley egg, I'm pretty sure. But, uh, we're gonna get ourselves an encounter somehow, there's gotta be a TV in this town somewhere. Would you like to trade Pokemon? I'll trade you my Sneasel for a Floret. Well, unfortunately, I don't have a, a Sneasel. I had a Weavile, but it's dead now, so I can't even offer it up for a trade. Uh, let's see what this chick will say. My favorite Pokemon is Volcarona, because it's super strong. What's yours? Hydreigon, because it's also super strong there. Uh, Alright. Trying to find TV, come on now. Where is the goddamn TV? I've always found trouble to Helios City. Or this top large town. Dark Rare Cold is by far the spookiest of any of the cults in the region. Speaking of, why is Dark Rare a dark type? Doesn't Dark Slash Ghost make far more sense? Um, it kind of does, because it looks more like a ghost type and all that. Uh, let's see what we got here. I've been developing a chemical that accelerates Pokemon growth. Basically, it makes eggs hatch faster. 
and need less steps to hatch. I can put on an egg of yours if you want. I charge one dollar for every step. Are you interested? Okay, so this is the guy. So, okay, instead of basically going to walk your eggs and everything else, you can actually go ahead and um, get this guy here who will actually... Um, uh, bu -bu he will... Oh, wait, there's a TV. What am I doing? There's a TV in here. I'm like, there's nothing. Come on now. Come on now. I want a TV. Come on now. So we'll do this for a while. So, but yeah, basically what happens is in this game, they, instead of you having to walk your things, that you can pay someone, and it will basically make an egg easier to hatch um, on the game. There. So it's definitely an interesting uh, concept there. You know, trying to save, you know, a flame body Pokemon or anything. And we are having no luck whatsoever. We've got to get ourselves an encounter. Come on now. Come on, man. Let's go fishing again. Let's see if we can actually find an encounter for Vipic Sea. Come on now. Not even a nipple. God damn. Come on. Not even. Did even, did even get a chance? Nope. Come on. Not even a <sighs> So we might be here for a while. Come on now. Bite on the fishy. Not even a There's gotta be a Pokemon here somewhere. There has to be. There's an egg. There's Pokemon in every water. Alright, you give no choice. We're gonna to have to try to surf for an encounter. Hopefully we can actually find something here. This is ridiculous. Also, the amount of time we're just like spending here, just trying to walk around, fight a find a Pokemon. Come on now. Give me a goddamn Pokemon. What the fuck? Alright, I heard Xavier was a Pokemon Ranger, but he quit. That's why he's such a close bond with his Pokemon. Well isn't that nice? Irrelevant, but that's I hate this place. The gym leaves hippie, this whole town stinks. How can anyone live here? I don't know. At least the forest is nice, but they're all running it. My father told me this to be one of the best beautiful cities in the region. Then Xavier showed up, and it just fell apart. It's kind of ironic, because everyone's like, accusing him of being a, um, make, you know, it's a hippie, but he's damaging the environment, which is not something you hear every day. What kind of Pokemon are you interested in catching? If you prefer to snag larger, heavier Pokemon, this one's the best. A Heavy Ball! Oh yes, I do love the Heavy Ball. That is my favourite Pokeball. So thank you very much, kind stranger. Hey, it's Loki. This town's completely gone to the dogs. Back in my day, there was a nice, clean, respectable city. We were clean, garbage free, and we actually kept our damn trees clipped. It's no wonder how disappointing this place turned out to be. Ah, uh, damn. All that sass just from having lack of trees. Unfortunate, but you know. Are you a fan of fighting? I love them. Oh, wait, I was here before. What the fuck? Okay, I just wasn't in that other house. So we're just going to talk to some people. If you're looking for Pokemon, you should try and find the hidden grottos. They're tucked away in the trees of certain groups. They can be hard to find, but they're well worth searching for. Oh, I agree. Oh, definitely. I would definitely agree from that. Alright, so... Trees like this. I hope they don't cut down. Xavier's the only one that could leave them up. Okay, so they're talking about dirty trees. Are you a trainer? I have a lot of respect for you. I try training people, but I just couldn't do it. Take this. A cleanse tag. So that keeps wild Pokemon away, I believe. These damn kids these days with the cheer infusions, their mega evolutions. Back in my day, we had 151 Pokemon, unbalanced types, and unoriginal designs, and we liked it. Well, good for you, Mr. Gen 1er. I believe that's what we call you. Alright, I'm going to give one more attempt at going through this water here, trying to find a Pokemon. I am honestly surprised we are having this much difficulty trying to find a Pokemon. Like, I'm just, I'm, I don't get it. I don't get it. And now we're glitched because we tried fishing on a Lapras. What the fuck? Come on now. It's gotta be a Pokemon! Seriously! What the- I don't get it. I just don't get it. I don't get how a piece of water would have no Pokemon. I don't get it. I don't get it. So, we'll come back to this encounter on a later day because it looks like this town is definitely not agreeing with me at all. With the TV or with that. Oh, but there's Damien. Hey, Sharpino, are you here to take on the Vipic City Gym? So am I. I'm just getting ready. I mean, I'm sure you and Nora won't have much trouble, knowing you two were chosen by Mew and Selby and all. Uh, excuse me. Pardon my interruption, but did I hear one of you two mention Mew? Uh, no, of course not. We would. Uh, no, we didn't. Uh, I see. My point is, I'll be on my very way. Yeah. Well, that was close. Not even supposed to know about that, remember? Nora said there was a prophecy or something. Shut the fuck up, Damien! Seriously! Don't you know to keep your trap shut? Anyways, good luck with the gym. We're going to train big, then take on myself. Alrighty! 
So let's go ahead, let's go into this gym, the guy in here, and let's see what kind of Pokemon we can deal with here. What pop a little macho in never mind. Welcome to Vipic City Gym. The leader here, Xavier, runs a forest themed gym. That's right, the gym is dual type. It's based on a theme. Bug and poison type is the name of the game. Whenever you're ready, just climb to the hole of the tree. The gym is a maze of tree holes. And take this for good luck. Well, thank you very much. This guy honestly has the most faith out of everyone in the game because every gym you go to, he's there to watch you succeed and, and progress. Okay, so for those who don't know, this gym is broken up into a maze where you've got to go through here and actually go around, look for tree holes, like this one over here. Basically, the end result is you end up at the, the gym. So let's go ahead. The only thing I don't like about this is the darkness and everything else. I really don't like that at all. Uh, so, okay, well that's a dead end, so that was definitely... I'm not the best trainers, I'm just going to go straight into the gym battle. Hopefully, we are well equipped as far as levels and everything else. But we can go ahead and take on a trainer from here. This grass has no Pokemon by the way, so don't get your hopes up. There's no encounters for the gym here. Okay, so let's see... The trainer's Pokemon in the gym, let's see what levels we'll be looking at roughly. And that's the Spirit Tomb. Alrighty, so... That's level 30, so we're right on par with just the trainer's Pokemon. So, oh crap, we're locked into Ice Ball. Please, just kill the Spirit Tomb. Oh, thank god he didn't put to sleep. Whew, okay. And Ice Ball again. And this Ice Ball is just tearing apart this trainer, because now the Ice Ball is going to continue going. Hopefully he's not going to bring a Pokemon that's going to be a problem. And a Magnus is going to come in, and that is definitely a problem. So let's go ahead and swap into... Uh, I guess Yugi would be the best matchup because it has Sacred Sword and Sword Dance, so definitely would be the best matchup for this Magnetite. Let's go for a Sword Dance, hope it doesn't have HP Fire. That would be pretty bad. Metal Sound, he's bringing down Special Defense. What a bitch! What a bitch! Let's go for a Sacred Sword. You transform, Sacred Sword goes through. Can I, it's not sturdy, please? Thank God. Okay. Sounds like someone that's sick died. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Alright, last Pokemon is a Dust Noir. It's a Dust Noir. Now, we're not going to have a good time with Yugi because Yugi has no ghost moves whatsoever. Let's go ahead and send in Lumiere. Let Lumiere take care of this ghost. Ghost, take on ghost. Because why the fickles not? Let's go for a hex. Yeah, speed goes for Shadow Snake. Oh god damn, I did a lot of damage. Shit! And Hex is always going to get the kill on it. Please don't go for another shot. Oh, good. Lumiere, you got this, you got this, you got this. Eee! Eee! Okay, so we might need just a little bit of training to get up to this gym leader because these gym Pokemon, just the trainers, are no joke. God damn, that was a lot of damage. Holy shit. And this was just the first battle, people. This was just the first battle. Like, holy shit. So we're gonna go back to the Pokemon Center to heal up because we have to kind of do that because the, uh, this, this gym is scary. This gym is kind of scary. <sighs> Alrighty, so I think what we'll do for this episode is just go past all the, um, you know, go past all, I am speeding it up now, I actually found the button as I was like grinding how we could speed things up here, but um, what I'll do is we'll go ahead, we'll uh, head up to the gym leader, and I think I might just train up my Pokemon just, just a tad, just, just, just a tad, but we'll see how we go with time and everything else, like if I really feel like I can take on the gym based off my experience with these training Pokemon, then I might go ahead and take on the gym. But at the moment, they're not looking pretty good because that first person just gave me so much grief. Like, it's no joke. It is not a joke, people. It's not haha -ha funny. You know, it's not a joke. Alright. We're back at the start. What the hell? That was a different tree. What the frickles? What the frickles? We go through here. Up here. Yes. Then we go over here. Yes, we want to go through. Oh. Just. Yes. Alright, now, let's go down this time, because we went up, and it let us out. Ah, here we go. Holy shit, we're right at the gym. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and get a better Pokemon to start things off. Let's go ahead and get Yugi to start things off. Holy shit, I didn't think we'd be at gym trainer so soon. Uh, uh, let's do this. What? 
good. The name is Xavier. I train Pokemon's profession. I'm later here. Uh, no, I'm just, uh, I'll give him the Yogi voice. Say, hey, boo boo, bring yourselves a picnic basket. Hey! I train Pokemon as a profession. I'm the leader here. You hear the battle? Sweet. I'll take you on whenever you're ready. I'm not much as a pushover as I look. Plus, you know, I'm always after those picnic baskets. Plus, I have a little surprise up my sleeve. Let's get this started. So, we got Yogi Bear the Ranger here. I'm not gonna hold back. I'm stealing those picnic baskets. Hey, hey. So here we go, second gym battle right here, people. Let us see. Wow, that sprite is awesome. That is an amazing sprite. Starts with the Rhyhorn. Now, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have any access to any ground type moves. I could be wrong, but we'll take this chance to go ahead and go for a... Oh! Dude! Wow! What the fuck? King shield this bitch. What the fuck? That did so much damage. What the hell? Okay, my mistake. He does have a freaking ground type move. Fuck. He's level 33. So this is not fun at all. So here I was thinking Yugi would be a good matchup. <laughs> I'm wrong. God damn. And this is just a Rhyhorn. That's not like anything threatening or anything. Like, fuck. Alright, let's go for a Dragon Breath and see how much damage we can deal to this Rhyhorn here. That's over half. Rock Blast is happening. That's 12. Okay, hit twice. Okay, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. But Yugi now is pretty much... And he has Berry Juice. Well, 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 well. Aren't you a first little Rhyhorn? But we killed anyway, so it didn't really have much of a difference. But god damn, that freaking... Oh, that just hurt. Uh, Marowak. Yeah, we should be good for a Marowak. Luckily we didn't hit Yugi on them, but god damn! That Marowak, I mean that Marowak, that uh, Rhyhorn, my god, I didn't think it would have Drill Run and Ball Load. That was a crit, god damn! And he's gonna go for Rage, so that works out actually pretty well. Even though we are underleveled here, we aren't doing too bad, he just lives on one! God damn! And there's a Super Potion. I had a feeling he was gonna heal at this point because, um, the Rhyhorn had the berry just to heal, so I guess it wasn't necessary. But we'll keep going for the Dragon Breath here, and the Marowak is Gonski. He's fantastic. And Sharpane's level 31. Woohoo! Alrighty! Muck is next. Um, we don't have any Psychic types, so we'll keep Sharpane win. He's got six Pokemon as well, I just realized. Holy shit. Oh, it's a Delta! Wow, all these ground types. First Rhyhorn, then Marowak, and now Delta Muck. Let's go for a Dragon Breath on this Delta Mark here. Delta Mark, as I said, is a ground type, as you guys probably would guess. And we get the para. Oh my god, this is so clutch! Sharpino wrecking house! Doesn't even mention Dragon Rage does. That does a little bit. Oh my god, he's got this piece of shit. Fuck! Let's go for a, a headbutt, try to get a flip. He's on the draw. And there's a Delta Gardevoir! Oh! How beautiful is it? Has Black Sludge is hurting itself. Alright, so we're gonna swap into Lumiere because um, this, this Delta Gardevoir is gonna do good work. Gonna go for an Ice Shard, that's gonna be resisted. <laughs> and this Black Sludge, so normally what, so what's happened is the Pokemon be randomized, but whatever Pokemon was in that slot kept it. Now, if I recall, I'm pretty sure this was a Tentacruel. So, because it's not Tentacruel, it's taking damage from Black Sludge rather than helping it out. So, we're going to go for a Flame Burst. Gardevoir's going to go for a Shock Wave. That did a lot of damage. But this Flame Burst should bring the Gardevoir down to the east. Alright, so Lumiere definitely coming in clutch right there against that Delta Gardevoir. Delta Muck wants to come back in, and I think we can use Megahorn now because this, this Muck is paralyzed. So I don't see a reason why we shouldn't use do what, you know? Why the hell not? And he's at a range now where I think a razor shell would kill from this range. And I would be correct. Delta Muck is down. Oh right. Even though we're underleveled, we're still doing very well, which I'm very surprised about. Absol's next. Alright. Um Absol. We could go ahead. Let's something cleaver. Cleaver, please don't miss. Don't miss. Don't. Alright, so. Oh, it's got Black Sludge as well, so whatever this Pokemon was. Alright, so. We're gonna go for a low sweep. Hope! 
we don't miss. Now, I'm pretty sure the Absol's going to outspeed. Pre Bro, we missed the low sweep! Come the fuck on! Oh, fuck. Okay, the Black Sludge is kind of working for us, but hopefully this low sweep, if we land it, which we do, kills the Absol. Thank God. Apple has to be one of my least favorite dark types just because it's so frail. I mean, yes, it can hit like a truck, but I didn't like it just because it's so weak. What's the land? Blizzard? Um, well, I think it's a lot better than... Well, I mean, I'm going to teach it because it's special. So, I mean, it's a bold nature, so we're going to teach a Blizzard. Heckles, yet last Pokemon. And there we go. It's a Mewtwo. So we've had Delta Gardevoir, Delta Muck, and Mewtwo. Me. That would definitely qualify as a challenge. So let's go ahead, I'm guessing this is Ace, because it's his last Pokemon. So, let's go ahead and take on his Ace with our Ace, the motherfucker Sharp Peanut Heart Dragon White Motherfucker. Let's do this! Level 35, so he's four levels above us. Let's go ahead. Oh! It's a Mega! It's Mega X! Oh my god! Please don't tell me you're gonna have a fine type move. Please don't tell me you're gonna have a fine type move. Oh my god! Okay, he does. Okay. Whoo! As justified! Oh! Wait, does Mewtwo X have justified? Is that its ability? Huh, I did not know that. Oh my god, it's a randomized Mega and it's Mega Mewtwo. What the fuck? Uh. Is it safe to stay in on it though? Ugh. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have... Okay, well he hasn't... We haven't done anything, so... I'm pretty sure he doesn't get any access to fine type moves. I think the only thing that I could think of... Alright, you know what? It's, it's getting a bit too nervous for me. I'm going to go ahead and check... Is this why I check moves? I check moves so I don't lose Pokemon, you know? Because I lost my Weavile because I didn't check, you know... The movesets and everything else. So... Mewtwo, what do you have? What do you have, Mewtwo? What is your moveset? Because this is Gen 6, so whatever Gen 6 says, it's going to have. So it's level 35, and its move pool is Miracle Eye, Fut Psych Up, Future Sight, and Swift. Okay, so we've got nothing to worry about. We are going to be just fine. Even though he is a... Yeah, because he can't touch with Future Sight. So that was a... Oh my god! We almost lost it. We almost lost it. But considering that he doesn't have anything else besides Swift and Future Sight, we, we are good to go ahead and swap into Lumiere here. Because Lumiere can go ahead and go for the Hex because Swift is going to miss. Because rightfully so. So we are a okay. We should be good to finish off this match. Here. We should be good to go. Let's go for this Hex. He's going to go for Future Sight now. Because that's the only move he has besides Swift. And Hex kills the Mega Mewtwo. Goodness gracious, this matchup. Level 32, alrighty, 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 level 32, alrighty, what's learn Dragon Pulse? There we go, there we go, we're gonna get rid of, I think we'll get rid of Dragon Rage because now we're getting to a point where Dragon Rage isn't gonna do as much, but we've got Dragon Pulse now, so he's definitely a good, and that is the second gym leader nailed, ladies and gentlemen. Man, I lost, I'm so glad we got to have a battle though, I had a ton of fun, oh, no, sorry. Say the boo, we failed in those picnic baskets. I uh, had a ton of fun. It's with great pride I award you with my badge, the Ranger Badge. That's a stinger badge. So I think the normal thing was he would have a Mega Beedrill. That was be the, the normal thing. But this time he had the Mega Beedrill X, which was scary as fuck. Well, I mean, it wasn't scary. I mean, his moves were swift and future sight. So we had the dark types. Take this too, it's a gift for me. It's a picnic basket. It is Venoshock, so that does more damage to the Pokemon's points. The Venoshock, uh, Venoshock is usually a pretty mediocre move, it has 65 base power. But if they're using the Pokemon has been poisoned, it doubles the power, I just said that. I think you want to head over to Helio City for your next gym. The leader there has been a gym based around the sky. Good luck. Thank you very much. And who would have thought Egg Slash would have been so pointless in that battle because half of his team was ground type. So unfortunately, we really couldn't do much as far as using that. Oh, hold on a second. Uh, hi there, are you Sharpino? Oh, wait, wait, I'm just like... Hi there, Scout! Are you Sharpino? Yes, I am. I got a letter for you. Uh, some guy in the blue suit and hair left it with me. So it is. 
This letter is for the one chosen by you. We have your friend. We will be waiting in the city dump. Come alone or he dies. Barty says, have a nice day. Oh, I'll be your mind, little scout, that I took a pity of it. Very dump is just on the other side of the town. Alright, so now I think we'll go ahead and wrap this episode up and go ahead and save Damien because Damien wouldn't keep his trap shut. So now we're going to deal with some bullshit that he's got himself into. So, I will say thank you very much for enjoying this episode over here of the Herd. If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit the like button down below for us because, as always, your support is going to be appreciated. Next episode, we're going to save Damien from Team uh, the Abyssal Cult because I've taken him. And we'll head to Helio City because that's where our third Jeep is going to be. So, until the next time I see you guys, stay safe, stay sharp, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Later!